Hey everyone, Abby here. How are you guys doing today? Um, today I have um, the privilege of sharing um, another one of our subscribers. Um, great talents and great work. Um, this one I actually was really taken back by. Um, I'm very flattered, I will admit. Um, I've never really had anyone um, write a poem about me or to me. Um, I was so impressed that it just kind of made me teary-eyed a little bit. Um, yeah. So this gentleman wrote in and he said that he felt like he wanted to write something about how <clears throat> he views me and how he feels like a good majority of my viewers view me. So I was really, again, taken back by us and just so impressed. I'm really kind of speechless. So much so that apparently I can't even get this lit when I read it. hobby he needs to get on his writing skills anyway so one of the very first poems that has ever been written to me about me um, and again he says that this is how he feels like he views me and how a lot of he feels as though this is how my viewers view me so anyway I printed this up. I have another sheet printed up because I'm actually going to frame it. I love it. Um, he made this nice little picture with it. Um, and it's titled The Dark. He lay there alone in the dark. It blanketed him, covered and protected him. And it was then and there, in the still of the darkness, that she would come. She filled his senses in the quiet darkness. He could almost smell her intoxicating perfume. Her sweet laugh filled his ears. The taste of her lips made his mouth water. The touch of her warm softness made his fingers tingle in his mind. The sight of her eyes that see deep into his soul and make him feel both vulnerable and cared for. But he was alone there in the dark, only her traces to keep him company. <clears throat> he clung tightly to those traces, for they are what make him feel alive. For in the dark, she was his. His and his alone. Not a puppet or a slave, but as real as his mind could imagine. She was herself, strong and brave, sexual and loving. She was his fantasy, the sexy femme fatale, the lovely angel who took him to places he only dreamed of. And she was his reality in the darkness. The soft and tender lover who gives herself willingly and wantingly. In the light, the stark and harsh light that fills the darkness, she is not his. The light shows him this, makes it clear 
that his sweet dark angel is only his alone in the dark. His light angel he shares. She is still all of those things to him from the darkness. All those things and more, but they are so close and yet out of his reach. He clings to the precious and few moments he shares with her in the light. To just be part of that light she shines, bathes him is her warmth and her, be and her being. The light she gives makes him feel that she sees all his faults, his insecurities, his weaknesses. Yet as she soars above, shining her light on him, she lets him bask in her glow. He reaches up toward the source of the light. Stretching and straining for the slightest touch, out of reach but still surrounding him, filling him with hope and desire. Then the angel with and her light leave him, and she takes her wonderful light with her. And as with every day, the light fades. It fades slowly and lets the dark return. And once again, alone in the sweet darkness, she is his. That is absolutely beautiful. If you didn't know, notice. Trying not to miss up while I'm right reading it, or now for that matter. Anyway, I don't have a whole lot to say about it because I'm just beyond flattered and speechless, I guess. <clears throat> Either way, thank you for sending that in. That is absolutely phenomenal. Um, like I said, that's going in a frame somewhere and up on a wall somewhere in this house. Um, that was just amazing. Anyway, again, thank you for writing that. Um, very talented, creative. I loved every single second of it, I have to admit. It was wonderful and I really wanted to share that with you guys and I hope that you enjoy and we will see you guys real soon. Bye.